welcome everybody this is technical tuesday volume 28 it's a nice sunny day and we actually plan to try and get this video done without it getting dark outside indeed so uh today technical tuesday so we're going to go into technicals mainly um however we've had a very very busy two or three weeks i don't even mm. i really need to double check like the dates and stuff like that nowadays and the weekends um, but yesterday was quite a, a decent day for, for us. Um, we were actually invited to Sheffield University, like a small trading floor they have there, to actually do a speech about FX and technical analysis and our journey overall in the market. Mm. That's right. I think there's about 20 to 30 guys that actually um, manage a portfolio of, I think, around about £100,000. It's quite unique for a university to, to actually do that kind of mm -hmm. thing. But so, we, you know, as soon as they asked us, they invited us uh, back before Christmas time. But again, just our schedules didn't really match but we managed to go down yesterday mm -hmm. and again you know they weren't really um, too knowledgeable about the forex market they were kind of into loads of different other trading markets so we went down there uh, for two hours I think by the end of it they were definitely left uh, a bit confused <laughs> but they got all the information I think they really enjoyed themselves and we loved meeting them yeah it was good um, as I say we started off just uh, explaining our journey in the market and being mm. self-taught and then we also went into some of the mistakes and traps that you can easily fall into um, also talked and discussed with the team and the, and the guys uh, as to how the fundamentals in FX aren't really carried over the same as they are in the other markets which mm. they specialize in just to give them a heads up and also um, an insight into technicals where we had it on up, uh, our charts up on the projector we broke down some major currency pairs and just gave them an insight into candlestick recognition key levels mm. and just some technicals in general mm. it's basically like a good live technical Tuesdays for them all <laughs> and there's a good first hand for them to see exactly how the forex market plays out so yeah hopefully i think we, we've already been contacted by two or three other universities here in the uk so again um hopefully we'll be actually be uploading a video of sheffield university and we'll keep you posted with other public speaking events we do here in the uk so hopefully you guys are more than welcome to attend mm -hmm. so uh today we've had a student in as well which was quite uh it's quite a relaxed day to be honest me and that are absolutely exhausted mm. Um, we're coming to the end of our world now, we're joking. But um, yeah, we had a student in today, and this guy had actually come from another course. Now, this guy himself, he's uh, one of my friends, I've actually known him on Facebook, first time I've met him face to face. However, he's been in the trading game and, and trying bits and pieces all over the place for around two years since I've actually been connecting with this guy. Um, he actually took it upon himself to go and do a course down in London. Now, we don't normally talk about other courses. Uh, you know, We get a lot of people coming from other courses who are still struggling. Um, however, this one is quite a big one. It's actually world known, uh, not just in the UK anymore. It's called Knowledge to Action. Mm, knowledge to Action, uh, probably one of the longest um, and most popular Forex courses here in the UK especially. And it's because they've probably been doing it for such a long time. And um, unfortunately, when he actually came and told us the experience, it was a bit disappointing. First of all, he was thrown in a room with 50 other people. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, being in a room, you, you know, you can't even put your hand up and ask a question. However, regardless, with all of our students, before they come attend the course, we give them a quick phone call. And we say, what do you feel like you're comfortable about? What do you feel like you're confident about? And what do you feel like you need to get touched up about? Some people are, you know, are totally honest, I'm a novice. And some of the people say that, you know, I'm kind of been trading for a few years. And this guy said, look, you know, I've paid three and a half thousand pounds for this course. So me and Sean had assumed that he'd have, you know, the basics definitely covered. Yeah. So like, what I like to do with everybody who's had a little bit of experience is give them a chart. So can you break this down? Um, oh, also is using like some MetaTrader as well. That was also a, a, a just just getting off MetaTrader was a big step up for him mm. uh, in general. But yeah, we've put him on the chart. Say okay, have a little go of analysing this trend lines, just just some basics, and uh, it's it become evident. Well, he did say the topics on the two day course in which he uh, sat through were support and resistance, and then trend lines, and a little bit of Fibonacci as well. Now, with you know just those topics being the main topics on the course, you would expect them to be you know kind of in depth. Didn't even know about inner trend lines, outer trend lines, long term trend lines, counter trend lines, the rules for a trend line bounce, rules mm. for a trend line break, and yeah, you applied the trend line and it was completely you know a little bit off. 
uh, and so on. But that's the way you've been taught. Now, if, if you don't get your rules to each strategy right, then your mm. analysis is just going to be haywire across the board. And that's what I mean. You can literally get, well, you can actually be given the wrong tools, and doesn't matter how hard or how long you practice them, they just barrier, won't work. Barrier, 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 yeah, barrier. they just won't work. And you have like a you have like a roof which you just absolutely just keep hitting, and that's exactly what applied for the student today. So by the end of it, again, we kind of had to uh, reprogram him in terms of his thinking. Mm. You know, to be honest, I had to kind of ignore what he learned before, which is quite sad. So yeah, you know, paying those kind of prices for courses and actually not being able to understand them s still, it's quite disappointing. Yeah, and overall, I don't think he was set up with a journal or a plan. Um, everybody who comes in here with us, it's, we know it's the main thing and mm. it's what's going to make you successful overall. So we give them the foundation, currency pairs to trade, new charting software, mm. uh, new setup and also you know spreadsheet etc and just give them a base to work with and mm. continue overall so it'd be interesting to see um, how he finds our materials over let's say the next four to six weeks in comparison to the year he spent obviously learning the wrong um, techniques overall. That's right, that would definitely be quite interesting. So, now moving on to Technical Tuesdays. Uh, me and Sean, we've actually been uh, conversa conversating about Technical Tuesdays and how to kind of, you know, always improve. And what we're actually going to do is, all right, get ready for this. So, because we actually don't want to repeat the same information, we don't want to make it boring. I know none of you think it's boring because we get, you know, more and more views every single week. However, for us, we want to keep it exciting. So, one week we're actually going to be doing topic of the day, for example, topic of the week, you know, that we talk about like psychology, etc., and technicals. Mm -hmm. And then the following week would just be technicals. Yeah, it's just be technicals. So, this is the week where it's just going to be technicals. Now, uh, since last week, I gave some scenarios and there's a lot of people out there trying to short like your USD, Aussie, etc. Yeah. And we said, no, it's very, very likely to go long. And we did the different scenarios and them scenarios if you actually paid attention. Um, and we also updated it on Instagram and Twitter as well for those followers. Yeah. Um, we, yeah, we came through on the long side of things. So uh, we're just, I'm just going to break all of these charts down now yeah. and just and just give you guys an update as to what's actually happening in the market. Looks like we're going to get some good movement. So quite exciting. Mm, that's right. So yeah, just for you guys to again keep in reference that one week will be your top topics. You know, we've covered psychology, we've covered pros and cons of trading, we've covered so many topics, but we've got so many more to come. One week, you've got your hot topics and technicals, and the next week, just technicals. <laughs> so, just so you, for you guys to know. But each week will be exciting as the last, just as this one will be. So, I'll pass it to Sean, and it's time to start Technical Tuesdays. Welcome, welcome, technicals. Now, um, before I crack on, as we mentioned earlier, some huge reversals, well not huge, but in comparison to the last, let's say, month or two months, um, it's quite significant. So as you can see here on the charts, I've got the Aussie dollar up now. Aussie dollar's uh, done us very, very well today, finally. Been in this trade for about a week, okay? Probably a bit less than a week. We actually went over this on last week's Technical Tuesdays and live with um, a student as well, and he actually went to uh, he, had, he got to take these live trades and setups away with him, so if he entered them, happy days. Now, uh, Aussie dollar on this time frame right here, the monthly, um, we were a cat, well, huge support, 0 0.7500, 0 0.7550. Uh, this is quite a significant candle right now, this huge bullish engulfing formation, and at the base of that, 0 0.7600 is an area where this pair could not close below. So we have a few days left of the month. If this monthly candle closes as a bullish engulfing, we can clearly see the momentum's way, way more than the uh, prior month and the prior month. So the spinning top, we came through with a shooting star, but we were dragged and ripped all the way back up. There's multiple reasons for this. But we're at a weekly um, channel, okay? And we're also at uh, a huge weekly Fibonacci point. Now, the Fibonacci point uh, is something that I was quite, um, well, I kept repeating myself about this Fib last year when we were on our way down. And now, as you can see, this the second Fibonacci uh, extension level, the price is just all over the place. We're going up, down, all, all over. Now, also, it's the first time two weeks ago the price managed to actually close above my moving average as well, the blue one, uh, which is another significant piece of the puzzle. And um, yeah, we're back above that fib level. So what's happened? It's it's completed the A B C D 
wave from last year and now we're actually pulling back and this is something that we have actually been waiting for for like I don't know over a month now um, we did put out some short scenarios but them short scenarios didn't fulfill so what you do you sit on your hands and then you just wait until it comes through um, because overall we're looking at each and every every single trade as a short-term investment so we said okay if this does break up to the upside and give us 300 pips and it's probably likely to do another 300 which I'm going to go through in a moment uh, if it happens in two weeks it happens in three weeks you know it's, it's a net profit of maybe 100 pips a week however it did happen in one week so we're very very happy about that I think it's withdrawal time for the team a um, little bit of a celebration this weekend perhaps I'm not too sure about that now um, Aussie at the moment the MAs are crossing over but well, potentially about to cross over for the first time in, in God knows how long since like August time now uh, we've just we're pushing above um, I think the high of the day okay, what's the high of the day well just 0 0.8015 ish is the high of the day um, we broke this trend line here. Normally we get the third bounce, that is gonna be our strike zone. However, the MAs, etc., crossed over and I was hesitant to go short on this because of the barrier below. So again, always looking at the bigger picture. Um, just reading simple price action. This is this is very, very bullish. Now this is number my risk reward tool, okay? I, I risked 152 pips to gain 450 pips. So that's a one to three risk reward. The trade made sense. Now with the trade making sense, I just executed in alignment with this whole reversal. Now if we do manage to just hover and stay above this uh, 0.8, uh, we will be seeing 0.8250 very very soon. Uh, beyond that, um, and I'll catch up on that soon, I don't want to project you know, too many targets into the future, but that's the next upside key level for this pair. Uh, in terms of maybe getting on a uh, trade execution, let me take that away because that was an inside bar formation. Get rid of this, get rid of this. Uh, I can clearly see, let's have a look at this fib. Fib's just been fulfilled here, so if we say uh, C is now A, boom, boom. Pullbacks maybe to get long, back to 7,900. Uh, um, um, but to be honest, the momentum behind this daily candle at the moment is quite substantial. So uh, yeah, easy, easy trade. I hope everybody made some money on there. I know people, a couple of people tweeting on the Instagram, etc., saying, yeah, made some money alongside you guys. That is great. Now, uh, if you want trade setups like this day in, day out on a range of currency pairs and continual updates, then you're gonna have to just drop into everything FX when it launches in the next week or so. We're testing the website now, and we've got a significant date in which we wanna launch it. Okay, uh, we'll be uh, we'll probably do a video just on that to be honest. And then remember, the webinar is going to be uh, for the launch also. So that's Aussie in a nutshell. Targets hit. Uh, I'm still going to run it maybe to this level up here. So again, don't take everything I say as gospel. Market could reverse crash thousand pips if it wanted to. Just just be careful. Now next one, your USD. Another one. A lot of controversy over this pair. So many people are trying to sell. However, but you have to again read the price. Uh, we're coming back into May, and if anybody knows the uh, significance of May in terms of this market cycle and the major pairs, uh, they would know it's not a very good time to actually start selling these pairs. Okay, monthly, if we do close like that, or a little bit, I don't really like the wick on the top. I would say that's a hammer, bullish hammer, but the wick on the top, I'll, I'll, I'll like the smaller wick on the top. Okay, so if we do get a close of this month, a little bit higher, I do think for the next month, my uh, bias will be bullish. Upside targets for Euro USD stepping down to the week. You got the inner, outer, and long term trend line. Very, very simple. Um, we have the crossover again, inner trend line break, outer trend line like my first target. Um, and it comes into alignment with 1.1 at 500. Okay, so a break above here, and I do think this level needs to be cleared because there'll be lots of stop losses above that level from everyone trying to go short and getting trapped at these lower levels. So I do think the price will just pop above that, uh, cause a few stab wounds and some heart attacks for them Euro short sellers. But again, if you look at the net uh, substantial change from May last year up, up until now, it's quite significant, so it does need to recover. Um, so yeah, a break of this level here, close above, I do think we will see 1.1500 now, just remember that and where, where you heard it. Euro USD, RZD, yeah, okay, Euro Pound, breaking breaking down Euro Pound at the moment. Now this is a bit of a tricky one. 
at the minute. I'm just watching this daily. I've got this fib on euro pound. See, capped by the 61.8 twice. All right, if we re if we remain below 1.7200, 1.7220, still bearish for this pair, and this pair will actually be going all the way down to 0.6850. 0.6900. A break of that overall on the monthly time frame, what we can do is we can simply use this. Okay, look, our downside targets 0.65 and then uh, 0 0.6, 0 0.59. But it's a very, very slow moving pair. It's a good pair actually for, for newbies and, and amateurs actually want to get in, you know, don't want to get scared by too much volatility and so on and so up. So, yeah, as I say, their downside targets for this pair. His, the, the price structure overall, uh, as it, it is bearish overall, unless something significantly uh, changes. Um, but yeah, so it's a bit of a boring pair, but again, downside bias for that one. USDJP1, now this is one that we're going to be sat on this for, I don't even know how long. Um, but it, it just does what it wants, it's Nat's favourite pair. He loves USDJP1. And um, I keep saying to him, Nat bro, you need to trade it when it breaks. No, I'm only joking, he hates this pair. He hates this pair, but uh, yeah, as you can see, this is the break here I'm talking about, and this um, small area of support daily break below that. I think uh, the, it'll, the volume will come in, and we'll see a smash all the way down to 116s. Um, a break of 116s, however, will lead us down to 110s. Um, now, 110s could go mid range 113.50s ish, 113s. However, this is a one to nearly yeah one to four risk reward. Eight hundred and fifty pips on the table. This is a trade that you could have running on the side. Well, I should do other things here. Again, look at it as a medium investment. Eight hundred pips if it takes two months. It's a net profit of a hundred pips a week. Um, again, as we mentioned on last week's video, don't go into that employee mind state of I want this to do that five hundred pips now and drop. It's a, it's a, it's more of an investment, and you want to sit on it and be smart about it. Now, what I'm going to do, uh, GBP USD. GU, this thing's going to the moon like um, 1.55. If it breaks 1.55, then I think we're going to see 1.6 again very, very soon uh, because of the weekly. The weekly is like terrifying for anybody with short down here without a stop loss. And um, the monthly, as you can see, the monthly is holding up very, 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 very well. Now, if this um, <coughs> comes maybe another 100 pips up by the end of the month very strong bullish engulfing uh, kind of kind of the uh, the same concept of Aussie and, and, and your USD actually and for the next month we could be bullish as well uh, I'm just going to run down one one shot um, let me take a pick overall just from top to bottom yeah so your AUD this is just a, a random pair I'm just going to pick now your AUD what I'm looking at on this is um, let's have a look what we can do with this so I know there's some support just here Got a little bit here. Okay, coming down to the weekly. I can just adjust that level. Okay, we've got that there. What we're sitting, we're sitting on that level now. So what I normally do, I can use this level as a significant, you know, an official level of support and resistance. Let me clone that. Add it on here. Um, We've got some support on this pair now at 1.28, 1.2850s. All Aussie pairs love round numbers anyway. And what we do with, with support and resistance, it's not just one key level, so we have to get our other little tool out, our handy tool, and we'll we'll make that into a dynamic area. Now here again, we've got this dynamic area here, trying to make this one as thin as possible, and then we have this one up here. Now stepping down to the daily on this one, these these uh, these are like nearly uh, a thousand pip ranges, and what we like to do is uh, what we can do here: trend line from the top to bottom. As long as we're below this trend line, overall we are in fact bearish. Um, and yeah, this is expected to break out into new territory, into new uh, structural lows. I reckon. So with this, what we can do: if I want to get a mid range, I can always pull this out, and then I can get my first target. 1.3300 let's say 1.3300 is my first downside key target upon a close a daily close and break below this level here 1.3700 and it's just hovering under there now so um euro aud it's a fast moving pair i'll be careful with this pair and also what i can see on this time frame is in fact a daily inside bar which is this red one 
okay, and the green one. Daily and sidebar, I've got a specific strategy for this, uh, you know, but it's nearly fulfilling the strategy right now, actually. So if I can just remove this, remove this, um, yeah, we're looking at more downside, further downside. We've been putting in mini lower highs, etc. There's these significant ones here, bearish engulfing, crossover. So Euro AUD, if anyone, like, uh, I'm just going to go over this random part. It's not something that I'm always looking at myself, but Euro AUD, we're looking at declining from 1.37 to all the, all the way down to 1.3, 300. So there's 400 pips on the table for that pair there. Rip that down in a couple of minutes. Um, again, just reading price overall is quite simple and straightforward. So I hope that helped you. Um, if you were trading any of the majors, hopefully you weren't short. Um, but if you are short, I don't, I, I can't really help you on that one. But yeah, longs, I'll give you the upside targets for these and a basic bias into next month as well if the uh, monthly candlesticks actually close as they are now. So just be careful out there, guys. Uh, but these are the times where a lot of money can be made in with swings, a lot of medium term swings. And once you are uh, you know, quite advanced, you can also start scaling in on these as well and just compounding. It's 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 just a skill that you know it it comes uh, when you're very very proficient in your analysis overall. So I hope that helps, and yeah, we'll be back next week, and I'm gonna lock off and happy trading. Thank you.